In this video, we're going to cover the justify content and align self properties in CSS Flexbox. But before we get to that, I want to make a little note about the series. I'm going to be using the Visual Studio Code editor instead of Notepad++. Now, if you want to follow exactly along and use that editor, I will provide a link in the description of this video to that series in terms of how to configure this. Okay, so again, we're going to be taking a look at the justify content and align self properties. And you can see here we have our flex items, which are down here. They are inside of our flex container. And we are using the flex direction property to organize our flex items in a row. And the main access in a row moves from left to right. So what if we want to manipulate all of our flex items? In other words, what if we want to move them maybe to the end of the row or distribute space evenly between them? That is where the justify content property comes into play. So the first thing we can do is actually move them to the end. So one value we can specify is flex end. And there you can see now all of our items are aligned against the end of the row. Now, of course, the default is flex start. So actually, let's go ahead and move those back. Now, there's also other values we can set. What if we want to put the maximum amount of space between our flex items? Well, there's a value for that that we can specify, and that is the space between. You'll see what happens here. It will actually take as much available space as there is and put them between each of our flex items. Now, what if we want to take our flex items and center them in the browser? Well, that's very simple. We just specify the center value. And there you can see, now they're centered. Now let's go back and specify the space between. Now what that does is it puts as much space between the flex items as it can, but it's not perfectly even. What if you wanted to do it evenly? Well, there's actually a value for that. So let's specify this space evenly. And actually uh, the space around kind of does the same thing. They're very, very close, but you can play around with the space evenly and around if you want, but they're very, very close. They do something very similar. They distribute everything evenly. Now this is perfectly spaced. See how that works? Now let's go ahead and specify flex start again. And then what we're gonna do is go ahead and change this to column. Whoops. And now everything's in a column. Now let's go ahead and specify flex end. You notice that didn't work. And that's because some of these will operate a little bit differently. And so you kind of have to find the right property to use. And in this case, for what we want to do, we actually have to use the align items property. So let's type that in. And now let's go ahead and type in flex end. And there you can see it worked. Okay, so as I mentioned before, at the start of the video, we're actually going to talk about the align self. Now, what if you wanted to take this box one and move this to the start? Well, that's where the align self comes into play and it actually works against the item itself. So we can go ahead and place that within our first flex item, which is this box one. So we're going to specify align self. And then what we're going to do is specify the value flex start. And there you can see it moves box one to the start position. So this is really useful now if you want to start moving things exactly where you want them, this align self property. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. In the next video, we're going to talk about wrapping, which is a very important concept in Flexbox.